How YouTube changed my life with only 500 subscribers. We're a small channel of about 580 something subscribers at the time I'm filming this and YouTube has definitely changed my life in many ways as a married couple making videos together. Currently we share about how we bought this tiny little fixer upper cottage and are fixing it up mostly on our own. First time home buyers. This is scary. Do I need to plug my nose? Yeah. Is it bad? Yeah. I've been preparing to relaunch our videos again because we haven't posted in a long time. I lost all our content on our external hard drive and had to figure out how to get it all back. Then I got burnt out, took a break, and now here we are. We're back. I have been watching these trending videos about how YouTube has changed people's lives with only 500 subscribers. And it has really inspired me to relaunch our videos again, sharing my own story about this same topic. Although we have been posting about our home renovations here, that's actually not how we started. I'm from Korea. We wanted to update you this time by video. Wow, I can't believe that was posted in 2015. That was when we were living in Korea. Yet, that was not even my first video on YouTube. Ah! Oh. Okay. Ah! Oh. Ah! When I was traveling in Mongolia in 2008, I decided to post a video of myself in the countryside to let friends and family know what it was like for me there. At that time, YouTube was such a new thing and it was completely different than what it is now. I remember sending a link to the video to people that I knew and then I got really confused when complete strangers started commenting on my video and asking me questions. <coughs> it freaked me out and I deleted my video and I never posted it again until 2015. Boy, if I only would have known back then what YouTube would have actually ended up turning out to be, I would have kept posting videos of my travels. I always loved creating videos though and wanted to get back to sharing stories in a creative way again. When I met and married Nate, he also loved the idea of creating videos and was actually the one who got us started on this channel. Our dream was to make videos about traveling and living abroad, then we got into vlog style videos, and then when we bought this fixer upper decided to film and document the journey. And that's where we're at now. So if you are into DIY renovations and interested to see us attempt to build a handmade home, go ahead and subscribe. We'd love to have you on the journey with us. Although we only have 500 subscribers, YouTube has still changed my life. There is a saying about not despising small beginnings and that is so true. It's at the beginning of your growth that you learn so much about yourself and technical skills. And with us being a married couple creating videos together, we have had to learn a lot about working together on something we both love. And that has not always been easy because we are both creative in different ways. As I reflect back on our journey, I can see that we have been building a foundation of our skills as they continue to layer on top of each other. We have been learning new things with every video and adventure. 500 subscribers may not seem like a lot, but it sure is for us as we don't even really have a social media presence on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and some of those other platforms. I've heard someone recently say, and they were quoting someone else, that a life worth living is a life worth recording. I could totally resonate with that as we have been recording our lives on video as we're fixing up this fixer upper little cottage and also recording our stories in written form on the blog. It has become a part of our legacy that we can look back and remember all the memories that we've made. We're wow. having a good time just snapping away a lot of pictures. Can you see what's behind me? Surprisingly, we've been able to get a lot of shots without anyone getting in the way. Now, sitting here and talking to a camera is awkward at times, and it does take some practice. And don't even get me started on all the setup things that I have around me, like a microphone and my script and lighting and my camera, which is actually my iPhone. But it's amazing to feel more comfortable over time. It's like you're exercising a skill and become more and more confident in it. And these skills have transferred over to my jobs as a corporate trainer and learning analyst. It has helped me to have more confidence in speaking to my classes, managing conflicts, and now to leading meetings, giving presentations, and managing projects. 
And don't even get me started on all the technical skills we've been learning. Sometimes you may watch a video on YouTube and think, hey, I can do that, seems simple enough. But when you actually do it, you realize there's a lot more to it than just picking up a camera and talking into it. There's scripting, editing, filming, and also for me, there's writing for our blog and editing photos. I have actually completely redesigned our blog during this break that I've taken. So if you like to consume content in written form, go ahead and check it out at journeydowntheroad.com. I'm so proud of what we have accomplished and know that we will continue to build on this foundation. Now there are times when we record videos and we don't like the way that we sound or look. We get embarrassed to include certain clips in our videos. Yeah, it'd be nice if everything was done and then we could just line up all the boxes just somewhere, you know? Mm -hmm. But look, we're trying to put everything in this one room. The honeymoon stage is starting to wear uh, off a little bit, huh? But then over time, we get better and we feel more confident, or we just start to not care as much about vanity and being more concerned about our true authentic selves. And just a side note here, you don't really need all the fancy equipment to get started. All you really need is a phone to record on and you can post videos. So don't let the perfection or getting all the things hold you back from starting. If I had to sum it up, I'd say that YouTube has changed my life by helping me to just get over myself and do the thing that brings me joy. What I mean by this is that sometimes I feel like we hold ourselves back from the things that we really want to do or achieve because of fear of what others may think or say of being criticized and feeling insecure. Trust me, we have been there many times, but when you just get it done and face the thing, <laughs> There is a sense of accomplishment that is indescribable. Making it worth all the effort of getting up at 5 a.m. and going to bed at like 10 p.m. sometimes during the weekdays. It actually reminds me of when my boss or someone at work asks me to do a presentation and then I get all squirmy and I just want to hide in a corner somewhere. But then I prep for it and I execute and afterwards I feel so proud of what I did and accomplished and all the skills I learned along the way. And then I think to myself, hey, that wasn't so bad. I can totally do that again. That would be another way that YouTube has changed my life. I have learned so much from the process. And I will continue to as technology changes and we get better and we grow. I remember how hard it was to even get to 100 subscribers. So for us to hit the 500 mark, that is insane. If you are a creator yourself, you probably understand how hard it feels to grow on YouTube as well. Maybe there are people in your life who are trying to encourage you by telling you that you'll go viral or are confused as to why your videos are not getting as many views as they are. Or maybe you are even confused yourself wondering, why am I even making these videos anyway? <laughs> then you watch your favorite creators on YouTube and wonder how they reached the success they did and secretly, or maybe not so secretly, wonder how you could do the same. I think it's easy to get caught up in chasing views, hoping to go viral or blow up on the platform, but then maybe you'll just end up burning yourself out and hating the process anyway. I have to admit that may have led to a bit of my burnout as well. So what is your why? I guess you have to take a step back and think about what your why is. Like, why are you here making videos? My husband and I have been living in a fixer upper while we're fixing it up. And we're also working full time jobs. So it takes a lot of time and dedication to make our videos. And since I've also completely redesigned our blog that coincides with our videos, it has been a huge sacrifice of time to learn the process and just to get all the things done. But this is our why. We personally love consuming content on YouTube ourselves. And this is our way of giving back by hoping to help and maybe even slightly entertain others by sharing our adventures, just like we like to watch from other creators. Are you happy about your purchase? Yeah, I wanna see if you are. Go ahead. You can't even reach. <laughs> we also hope to build community here with like-minded people and share the things that bring us joy. I've had so many regrets of not starting earlier or being more consistent throughout the years. And that's what really motivates me to keep going. I don't want to keep hanging on to these regrets that I have. And back to not despising small beginnings. This is a great reminder to just keep going where you are and not compare your channel with others. It's also really fun to go back and watch our old videos. Those are memories that will be cherished forever. And 
and I often think about how these videos are the creative work of our legacy and our journey. And don't underestimate the impact that you might have in someone's life, even as a small creator. Even if you are renovating your house and don't know what you are doing. We have really enjoyed the encouraging comments that we have received and connecting with others. Imagine the impact that your videos might have on people that you don't know and may never meet. It's our hope to inspire others through our journey. So, what is your why? And has YouTube been worth it? It absolutely has. I can't believe all the skills that I've been learning from filming and editing videos to all the prep that comes before that and all the things that you need to do to get ready to post that video. I actually create content in my professional career as a learning analyst, from creating training courses and curriculum to scripting storyboards for videos. So my skills have been transferable both ways. My job helping me to create videos and work on our blog. And while I do these things, it also helps me to just do my job better at work. Think about how making YouTube videos may also impact other areas of your life. From giving a presentation at work to just being more proficient in technical skills because you've learned how to edit videos. All of these skills could help you with your job, personal life, and maybe even volunteer activities. I could go on and on about this one, but you get the point. Sometimes it can feel like a grind, especially if you have a job and other priorities in your life, which I think most of us have. You have to find time to work on making videos in the mornings or the evenings and just whenever you have the time to do it. I've also spent a lot of PTO time creating and editing videos, which by the way, I'm on PTO this week, so that's why I'm filming this video. Reminds me of that good old 80s movie, The Karate Kid. Remember how Mr. Miyagi had Daniel-san do random things like wax his car and paint fences? But he wanted to learn how to do karate, not to do somebody else's chores. Yet it was in the practice and consistency of those tasks that eventually helped him to learn the skills to do karate without him even realizing it. That's what I felt like I was going through when I had the very big task of organizing our external hard drives and figuring out our processes and systems so that we could produce our videos and blogs. I just wanted to create and publish, but there was so much behind the scenes that I had to get right and set up. But I believe that it is in these secret moments of prep and repetition that builds your skills and momentum. And then you can look back at the library of videos you created and take a bow at your accomplishments. You did it. I hope this encourages you to keep going with the time that you dedicate in the secret. Who knows what opportunities can open up for you in the public because of your dedication. Not to mention all the skills that you will continue to learn each and every day. Hope to see you in our next video and blog. Hey there, we'd love for you to check out our newly designed website at journeydowntheroad.com. You can easily search for whatever category or topic you're interested in and read more about our little pine cottage. Get the inside scoop about our story and how we've lived simply in small spaces and how you can too. See how we've also built a handmade home with reclaimed and salvaged materials. Thanks for joining us on this journey.